All right, well, uh, you got an upcoming album coming out uh, called Kill Dragon, I believe it's called. Uh, briefly, how would you compare that to your first album? Well, I, uh, I took what the foundation was made from the first record and kind of mixed that with what I've always really, the music I've loved to listen to. And I am only capable of making so much music because I'm not the most talented guitarist. But I've always loved electronic music and uh, especially synthesizers. So I took kind of those two elements and made a little bit more of a like a fantastic approach, meaning like almost like a graphic novel. You take normal songs and you kind of push them to the edge a little bit. So it's just a little bit more, I guess I can call it over the top, like version of Strand of Oaks at this right. point. Kind of like this interview. Then I dreamt I stayed in the Sterling In the same bed as Kennedy Then Jackie and Johnny and Caroline would ride. Um, I know you've uh, said that Wilkes-Barre figures into this album, and, and we heard today uh, in some of the music. How did that come about? I just living here, and uh, over kind of important points in my development as a man, I figure, and just kind of the surroundings worked into that same kind of. It's kind of the same way I took the songs and pushed them to the edge. I I took imagery of Wilkes-Barre and kind of made it almost like. Uh, at times like post-apocalyptic and kind of mixed what I saw every day as already kind of looking a little bit like especially like I lived right underneath the Sterling for a long time and I got to see it get taken down and it's just you know that kind of influenced all those writers anyways, but. yeah specifically uh, the Sterling song um, where did you come up with some of that imagery with Kennedy and, and these different things well it was written uh, it was written right when my uh, my grandfather died and then it was kind of I was having weird dreams about my grandfather and John F. Kennedy, and then my future father-in-law told me that Kennedy had stayed in the Sterling at one point, and those three things combined just kind of brought out that song. I figure I'm not I'm not sure exactly what it means or if they're at all interrelated, but it's just all those all those symbols kind of get worked in at that point. Uh, well, sometimes you play with a band, and sometimes you play solo like you did today for this session. Uh, compare those two experiences I've I've had a lot of experience with both of them but I'm kind of growing more uh, fond of playing in a band and having people to be on stage with and uh, I have a new band that's uh, these guys from Milwaukee that I'm gonna do a tour with in uh, June and uh, they've just kind of fell into my you know perfectly in place and I'm just getting a lot more excited about that but it's I like to have the option of not, I think I'm going to be the first and last member of Strand of Oaks ever. I don't think there's ever going to be any more real members, just because it's easy to, I just think it's easier to just to commit with me being in it, and if other people can come to the band and be in the band, it makes it easy, but if not, I can still kind of travel by myself or play you know, like shows by myself at that point. But. So I put them in a velvet town. Carried them to the room. That's where I'm. Well, I, I think that's the only. I might have some, maybe issues that, when it comes to that. I mean, it's it's. I bet if I would ever actually sit down with like a psychologist or someone like that they would say that there's something going on where but uh, I feel like that I don't like people in social situations to be overly serious it kind of gets on my nerves and I like to joke and I've always I like to joke just as much as I like to write songs and I figure I'm past the point in my life where I want to kind of purge my feelings in talking to someone if I'm out for pizza or something I'd rather just like laugh at that point and I think the songs, they come out, they have like their own place, and that's where I can deal with a lot of, you know, whatever. And I'm kind of in the mood now to write a little happier songs. I feel like I've, I've done two records worth, worth of pretty downers, so I'm ready to move on at this point, but we'll see. <laughs> 